Hello heroes, glad to see you again. Weaving Patterns event has started today. This event gives you the opportunity to upgrade your war flag patterns. As you know, these flags give your attacking or defensive teams additional boosts in arenas, clash of worlds, and guild war battles. You can enhance your flags by inserting up to three patterns into each of them, and they will give additional bonuses to the entire team. While you can only add three patterns per flag, you can upgrade the patterns themselves to several levels to make your team stronger. To update a pattern, you need to merge two patterns of the same level and type, and you also need a golden thread to make this upgrade. And this is where this event will help. I will soon add a video about war flags and patterns, so subscribe and you will know everything about them. Now let's see what this event has to offer us. As usual, we have several quests that can help you get valuable items. To be honest, the golden threads you'll get from this event probably won't be that many, unless you spend a lot of resources like emeralds or gold, and in most cases you'll have to spend real money to get them. Let's see. First of all, you will receive 50 golden threads every day if you open this quest and press the button. Not much, but the quest is also the simplest, you don't need to do almost anything. Now let's see this quest. Hero's Reward. You will receive 200 golden threads for completing any 5 quests in this event. And for most of us, these are probably the only 2 quests in this event where we get the golden thread, because all the other quests require a lot of resources, as I said. I show you what I mean. For example, you can get golden threads from the business thinking quest, but you will need to get 7500 VIP points. We have several ways to get VIP points in this game, but they all involve spending real money. First of all, we can get them, of course, by buying emeralds, but to get enough points you need to spend a lot of money. The second way is to buy skins for different heroes. In this case, you will also receive a certain amount of VIP points, but not many. The third way is to gain the Valkyrie's favor. Although this favor itself is a very useful thing, it only gives 100 VIP points, which is very little for us. The fourth way to get VIP points is by purchasing tickets or subscriptions. The number of VIP points you will receive depends on the type of tickets or subscriptions and their prices. Each season gives you opportunity to buy a golden ticket getting a lot of stuff and 2400 VIP points, but that's not enough for our goal to get golden thread. Actually, you can get more VIP points for less money by purchasing resource subscriptions. Here we have three options. Subscription for one week gives 1200 VIP points. Subscription for 4 weeks, 5,000 VIP points. And subscription for 8 weeks, 10,000. I won't talk about other benefits that we get with this subscription. I'm only talking about VIP points and emeralds. A one-week subscription does not give us many VIP points, so let's omit it. A four-week subscription worth $36 gives us 5,000 emeralds and 5,000 VIP points. And this is already enough to get almost all the benefits from the Weaving Patterns event. Unfortunately, this purchase is not enough to get the golden threads in this quest. So you will need to buy an 8-week subscription, and it will cost a lot more. In any case, buying emeralds will not earn you a significant amount of VIP points, so don't buy them to just get VIP points, unless your goal is to get emeralds. As you know, we are currently on a fourfold emerald sale, and because of that, we will get more emeralds if we buy them now. But there is actually a way to get even more emeralds for the same money right now. The thing is, there are currently two towers in Iceland that give 20,000 emeralds each. And if you haven't done so yet, getting to them is much more profitable than buying emeralds. This is the first tower, and this is the second one. Both of them contain 20,000 emeralds. You just need to calculate how many moves it will take you to get to either of them, and then calculate if you can get enough explorer moves in the near future. Right now we have a few options to get these moves. The first way to get explorer moves is to buy a resource subscription. The second way is to get them from the spooky festival event, Almost every task in this event offers some explorer moves. 
and the third way is to get them from the weaving patterns event. But honestly, this is the most expensive way. Even if you only buy a one-week resource subscription, you still have a chance to get emeralds from this tower, as you will only need to get three extra explorer moves to do so. Watch my video better than fivefold emerald sale to find out how. You will get these three extra moves during the Spooky Festival event. So you definitely will have enough moves and get 20,000 emeralds by opening this tower if you haven't done so yet, if you buy at least one week resource subscription. But on the other hand, with these explorer moves, you can get Spooky Festival coins from the Spooky Festival Iceland. So it's a big question, which is better, getting 20,000 emeralds or 10 Spooky coins that will give you the ability to buy hard to get items in the Spooky shop. In my opinion, if you can get at least 19 moves during this week, it is better to spend them on Spooky Iceland, because you will have another month to get 20,000 emeralds from this tower. Please write in the comments if you have a different point of view. Let's get back to the Weaving Patterns event. The most valuable thing in this event is to get Golden Threads. In fact, all quests have the option to give you the Golden Thread, but let's look at them quest by quest. As I said before, the Welcome Guest quest gives you golden threads every day. The Business Mindset quest is designed to get you to spend real money. He offers several emerald dolls for different amounts of VIP points. The next quest, Challenges Await, will give you soul crystals for spending energy. This is a bit unexpected for this quest. No one can even say what connection the soul crystals had with the golden threads. Anyway, if you spend 11,000 energy, you will receive 150 gold threads. Not that much for such an activity. Next, the quest Glitter of Emeralds will give you Chaos Cores for spending emeralds. To be honest, Chaos Cores are a reward that hardly anyone expects to receive for spending emeralds. To get anything valuable from this quest, you'll have to spend tons of emeralds. Particularly, you will only get 1,000 gold threads if you spend 60,000 emeralds. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The Timeless Values quest gives you experience potions for spending gold. And after spending 4 million gold, you will receive 50 golden threads. Yes, only 50 for 4 million. It's hilarious. In any case, this is a relatively affordable quest for experienced players. For example, who have already developed their titans, they can exchange Titan Soul Stones for gold and then spend them. For beginners, this quest is less feasible. The next quest, Summoning the Great Ones, gives you equipment fragment chests, completing the summons in the summoning circle. If you have enough summoning spheres, go on this quest. You will get some equipment fragment chests and also 500 golden threads if you complete 180 summons. But to be honest, it requires a lot of summoning and is not that easy to do. I have already spoken about the Heroes Award earlier. It gives a golden thread for completing any five quests in this event. Actually, that's all about this event. You will definitely get golden threads from this event. More or less depends on how much actual money you're going to spend on it. That's all for now. Good luck in the game. I'm going to add a lot of videos about all aspects of Hero Wars. Subscribe to my channel. And you'll be aware of all the secrets of this game. Thank you very much for watching.